Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got two college football games coming your way. Wednesday night, Conference USA, which has been good. Tuesday and Wednesday night, Conference USA on the show. Um, I think we're undefeated, actually. Maybe lost one of them. But uh, either way, guys, uh, overall show recap, 35 and 18, 66% run plus 14.92 units. $100 better up, 1,492 units in this run. And we are including big in that. If we're laying juice, it is counted there, guys. So let me know in the comments below what your picks are for tonight, for this week in college football. Any sport is welcome. Where you agree, where you disagree, it helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. Granted, the recap, I'm doing this the night before, and the games on Tuesday are not counted in on that. But let's get after it here, guys. 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network, as both of these two games nationally televised. Something that's great for us sports bettors here. We get Liberty and Kennesaw State. Minus 25, that's the Flames of Liberty, up against the <laughs> Owls of Kennesaw State, 46 being the total. This is top in the standings in Conference USA versus bottom of the standings here. Liberty coming in 5-0. and However, just 1-4 against the spread. You normally don't see that in college football. A team running the table straight up, yet uh, burning money against the spread. Kennesaw State 0 and 6 straight up, 1 and 5 against the spread. So uh, not good to bet on, not winning games. They're also just 1 and 5 trending towards the under here, guys. Overall, look, I've watched Kennesaw State play a bunch, guys. This offense is terrible. I, I, I think it's the worst offense at the FBS level in all, you know, in all of college football. They're only one of two winless teams left in FBS level football. They've scored one touchdown the last six quarters of play. And keep in mind, last week they played MTSU, Middle Tennessee State, which probably has the worst, if not the second worst defense in Conference USA. So only, you know, just not producing offense against that caliber of opponent, man, that's head scratching here. They, they, they lost, what, five to 14, you know, they got a safety there against MTSU. And, and that's a bad defense the Blue Raiders have. Their quarterback, Johnson, was just 5 of 17 passing the football. They've actually played three quarterbacks this season. It really doesn't matter who's behind center. None of them have been very good. Now, you know, fading Kennesaw State is something I'm looking to do. But we got to go on the other side of things. You know, mention Liberty, just one in four ATS. These two teams are old Big South conference rivals. They're at the FCS level. Now, since then, both of them moving up to the top level of college football and playing a, a conference game here in CUSA. Liberty, of course, you know, undefeated straight up. They are off of a bye week. But the Flames, interesting scheduling in that they, they had a game canceled earlier in the season. So they, they really haven't played much football over like the last four weeks. Um, but they do have extra preparation time here going on the road to Kennesaw, Georgia. It's kind of outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Last time out, they also did not look very good. Um, it was two weeks ago. You might, you might remember against FIU. We actually, we actually took FIU on the show, plus the points. And Liberty came nowhere close to covering the 16. Uh, they actually won the game in overtime. But again, they did not look strong in that game. Their quarterback, Salter, had his worst game. Uh, of the season and some of that due to FIU arguably the best defense in conference USA so kind of holding him at bay but really Salter's a pretty good athlete I mean he's a guy that that what led him last year um in their they, they had a great season last year and overall their offense is good I think they're going to bounce back here against Kennesaw State I really do they are still the number one offense in CUSA they're averaging just under 450 yards per game and Kennesaw State is number 10. There's only 10 teams in CUSA offensively, and they're only averaging 228 yards of offense. So I think this is going to be a blowout, guys. I really do. It's it's not going to be a best bet just because, you know, laying 25 points isn't something I usually do as a sports better. But breaking it down, guys, uh, in this one, it's the Flames or pass, and we're going to jump on Liberty, minus 25 to blow out Kennesaw State to start us off here on Wednesday night football. Only got one game left, so um, kind of a quick show here for you, but hopefully we go 2-0 and 
And a reminder, if you could comment below, it does help out the algorithm. What you're betting all is welcome, guys. And if you're interested in premium picks, do have a 4% Wednesday night uh, top play up and available. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Conference USA has been great. So uh, we're actually undefeated this season in CUSA uh, midweek football. So got that up and available. It's a side on this next game. So uh, uh, we're actually going to go after the total in this one. Break it down. Middle Tennessee State and Jacksonville State. Looks like uh, what the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State minus 20 in the hook home favorites. 63 and a half or 64 being the total 730 Eastern start on ESPN two Amherst stadium, Jacksonville, Alabama does look like 80 degrees, clear skies here. Middle Tennessee state comes in two and five on the season, both straight up and against the spread Jacksonville state three and three, both straight up and against the spread five and one to the over. So five of their six games getting up and over their head coach, Rich Rodriguez, He's coaching them up. They started off, you know, the schedule is a little tougher and they lost three and now they've won three straight, covered all three. And something with Rich Rodriguez, just watching him here at Jacksonville State is he's going to look to run up the score. He's going pedal to the metal, even if he's got the lead. Therefore, I got this total circled, guys. They've scored 161 points in their last three games. Think about that. 161. They're averaging like 55 points a game. And now they're up against MTSU, which their only FBS win is against Kennesaw State. We just hammered Kennesaw State and how bad that team is. Um, Their defense has given up 40 plus four times already this season. So I think I think Jacksonville State is going to score a bunch of points. They might hit this total by themselves. I'd like Jacksonville State's team total over their quarterback. Uh, what Tyler Huff over 500 yards rushing over 1200 yards passing a dual threat guy he's leading them very well and Jacksonville State their defense they're very aggressive Um, you can just tell they're they're kind of all or nothing they actually are top 10 in college football in terms of turnovers created they will however give up some big plays you know when you play that style of defense you're pretty much just trying to get the ball back to your offense and if you don't whatever you give up a touchdown and you go try to score one i don't blame them here i mean they're all offense all gas no breaks type of team i think they i i do think that they win this game uh by margin but for the show guys I like this up and over 63 and a half. It's 63 and a half or 64, kind of a split line on the total. And I think we go up and over. And on the MTSU side, their quarterback, uh, Vallado, he had over 250 yards passing year to date per game. So they'll throw it around a little bit. And when you watch him throw, he's a talented passer. Sometimes they haven't been able to put it together like last week against Kennesaw State. Kind of, uh, you know, they only put up, what, two touchdowns, I believe. He he was actually sick in that game. He was questionable going in. So after a week here, I think he'll be ready to go. I think he'll put up some points for MTSU. So we're going over 63 and a half, Middle Tennessee State, Jacksonville State. That's the best bet for the show, guys. In recap, we got Liberty to blow out Kennesaw State, minus 25. Broke that one down for you. Guys, comment below. Let me know if you agree. If you disagree, all is welcome. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Hey, we'll be back tomorrow on Thursday, breaking down college football and the NFL. Come back and join us. Smash that like button, comment below, and cash those tickets.